Make walls out of styrofoam blocks. Cover the pieces with printed images of sandstone. Outline thin styrofoam to make details. Remove parts of the roof. Glue together. Voila! The frame is ready! Remove the top parts of wooden skewers. Paint them blue and secure to the walls. Chopsticks will also come in handy. Now we have the roof. Cover the grill with tin foil. Knead light clay. Roll it on the textured grill surface. Highlight it brown and then make it look older. And attach the roof. Yeah, now the roof is not gonna leak. Cut straws like this. We made small cylinders. Put them along the attachment points. Highlight them to match the roof. Ready! Roll modeling clay and cut out the shape of a window frame. Give it a special texture. Madrigal family spent a lot of money on curved elements. Polish them well. Ask your parents to help. Highlight the frames green and secure the compartments of the window shutters. Windows filled the house with light. Make new walls out of styrofoam. Snap! The tower got painted pink! The attachments and roof appeared. Cover a piece for a big window with acrylic paint of the same color. You can see weak light through the frame. It's coming from a magic candle. Oh, Casita! The new building consists of two layers. The top part of the tower is a little smaller. But it also has wooden attachments, a square out of boards and a roof. Take an arc out of thin styrofoam. There are tiny windows on top of the tower. Secure the arc to the front wall. The insert is separated with a cell out of wire. Add one more architectural element. That's so fun! There are wooden beams out of styrofoam in the corners. They will secure the house. Cover each corner with small triangle canopies. We made an unusual tower. Pieces of thin styrofoam join to make a tilted base for the roof. Here are the roof tiles. Now this piece of the house is protected from the rain. Throw a piece of modeling clay inside a cup. Activate Lalilu Craft magic and voila! Many small windows appeared on the table. Some already took their places. Make a lower building. Give the walls signature texture. It's time to paint the pieces. The windows with shutters are so colorful. They completely changed the look of the house. Make a base for the balcony. There are balustrades out of the skewers along the sides. They are covered with even rails out of coffee stirs. Paint a piece red. One more. Then green and white. 
It's a comfortable place to have a cup of morning coffee. Make a frame out of styrofoam blocks. There's an arc passage in the center of the wall. The arc is decorated with stones. Put a tiny window in the corner. Make a purple two-floor building. A door with curved inserts leads to a miniature balcony. Madrigal family comes here to socialize. Make a superstructure out of thin styrofoam. Paint the skewers white. But that's not all. Sparkly sequins will become windows. And there's the second floor. Even here, you can look through white shutters of the windows and tell the world, hello! Make a frame out of styrofoam. Then cover with printed images of walls. Add a couple of windows nearby. And, of course, a roof! We'll have one more part of the house. This time, there's a red door in front of us. A ledge for hanging flower pots is secured above it. The Madrigal family loves plants. A huge styrofoam sheet is turning into a green lawn. Brush, you have a job to do. Put the legendary Casita house on an even surface. It's hard to believe, but this building has its own conscience. In order to protect magic power and preserve the light of a candle, the first ones from Madrigal family build their homes separated from the rest of the world in the mountains. Don't you agree? The family nest looks very comfortable. Build a side balcony. There's a chimney on the roof. A spire on the top tower is sparkling. Attach a magic doorknob to the central door. Touching it, the members of Madrigal family get their gift. Finish working on the roof. Hot sun burnt it over the years. This moss was grown to decorate the house. Casita House blooms with greenery. Flowers appeared even on the roofs. Sprinkle the dry branches with rose spray. Put them on the sponge. The building blossomed thanks to their magic power. There are trees near the house. Bushes out of stabilized moss grew right near the walls. Cut moss into small pieces. Add a sticky layer to the lawn and sprinkle. Now the kids can play on fluffy green grass. Build a road leading to the main entrance. Cover the cracks with dark paint. Highlight the top with an ochre acrylic paint. Make the bricks look older. Add many beautiful flowers and plants. The roads are made from aquarium ground. There are tall palm trees around the building. Make trees out of wire. Highlight them to look like wood. A sponge and moss will replace the crown. The garden got one more tree. Each time a new family member gets magic powers, 
the house creates a new room for him that is bigger on the inside than on the outside. With time, the house got new buildings. But now, the family mansion is in great condition thanks to Mirabelle. The girl restored magic. The city of Encanto is happy. And Madrigal family has access to magic again.